angels, it's Kate and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a highly requested video and I'm going to be doing my skin routine finally. <clears throat> Hold on. Uh, guys, I've, I'm still sick ever since prom and that was a long time ago and I'm kind of concerned. I'm not like sick sick but I still have a cough and stuff. Hi, so when I filmed this video it was on March 28th and April 8th over the span of those 10 days or 12 days and then right now it is june 27th so it's straight up like three months later that i'm editing what is wrong with me oh my goodness okay this is such a highly requested video i'm just gonna go and edit i don't even know why i was here to talk about but yeah just like if anything like is kind of off and doesn't make sense it's because i'm posting this three months later and a lot has changed so yeah bye enjoy okay i'm just gonna get back into the video I find myself always rambling and getting distracted in general and then I always have to edit a lot out because like that's not the video I'm doing so then editing's annoying but it's fine. Okay, so today I'm going to be talking about my skin routine. Okay, so my skin routine is nothing like fancy or crazy, everything's like pretty affordable. In my day and night routine combined, there's only five products, so yeah, it's nothing like complicated or anything, and it's really easy, honestly. So I have my little planner notebook, and I wrote down stuff that I need to talk about. So this is just like an overview slash close-up of how my skin looks right now. Keep in mind that this lighting is like amazing and my camera just kind of makes my skin look good so don't feel bad about yourself or anything. These are my pores. Welcome to the close-up of my face. I definitely have blackheads and big pores which is my main concern because I mostly got rid of all the acne problems and I just focus on that. Although I do have these white stubborn chin things that have been here for years and literally will not go away and it's just really annoying and I don't know why they're there. Like, can you just... Bye! Okay, I'm also going to show you guys how I look on my iPhone camera because I feel like my iPhone camera definitely shows the imperfections more. So yeah, in this lighting you can definitely see like my pores and my blackheads a lot more. And my skin texture just is not that good. Good morning. I have a lot of eye crusties. Oh, that's a lot. Okay, I'm going to bring you guys to the bathroom now. Welcome to my bathroom where the lighting's good, but it's the bathroom, so I'm gonna tie up my hair first. I'm also kneeling on the floor because, okay, wait, I should just adjust my tripod. I don't know why. Oh, is that good? Not really. This is such an awkward angle. I don't really know. Okay, but when I wash my face, it'll be like this, so it's kind of fine. Okay, so the cleanser that I'm using is the Acne Control Cleanser from CVS. It's like a knockoff of the Clean and Clear one, but this one's cheaper, so I just bought that one. Then it's time to eggify myself and put my hair up, and I look like a round egg. Cool. The following procedures are probably really self-explanatory, but basically I just squeeze an amount of the stuff out, and then I just put it over my face. Oops, wait, actually I was supposed to wet my face first, but I forgot. So first, you should actually wet your face and then squeeze out a pea-sized drop of the cleanser. And then I just m massage it around my face a bit, lather it up kinda, I don't know. But when I'm in a rush, I just go super fast. And that's probably not good, but you should let the stuff like sink into your face before you wash it off, if you know what I mean. Make sure you get it into all your cracks, like around your nose area like those crevices i don't know and then your eyebrows because i always get like pimples on my eyebrow which is kind of weird and then i just like scoop up water with my hands and try to wash it off and don't be too abrasive because you don't want to get wrinkles on your skin and stuff from rubbing it too much but i don't know just try your best because that's all we can really do and then this part i just like what why do i look like this <laughs> but then I just dry my face with a face towel. Just try to pat it dry and don't be abrasive once again because you don't want to like mess up your skin textures and stuff. So just try to like pat it, but I do kind of like get abrasive next to my hair because I don't want my hair to be all wet. After I wash my face, it's time to moisturize. So I use the Belief True Cream Aqua Balm 
and apparently it's kind of similar to the Tatcha water bomb water cream wait what is it called something like that um, but I was cheap so I wanted to try the dupe instead and it's not I don't I th I'm pretty sure it works really well on me like I haven't really had issues with this at all so I like it but I don't have a ton of experience trying moisturizers so I wouldn't be able to really tell you but it's really light and not like thick at all but it still gets the job done so I really like it because my skin can still breathe and it has like this really really nice herby scent but not like those strong disgusting herb scents like a very light and almost minty one but it doesn't make your skin burn at all please also do leave me comments on products that you enjoy or have found useful because i'm always open to try new stuff since i rarely ever do for my products so that is it for the am and i will see you guys in the pm hello there welcome to nighttime so I just showered. As you can tell, my hair is such a wreck after I shower. It just, I don't know how people look good with wet hair because that's just not me at all. So I'm using this Cer CeraVe, CeraVe, I don't know, CeraVe moisturizing night cream and it's like a facial lotion. It's so light, perfect for sensitive skin and it just has the best consistency ever. I think I might go ahead and try the daytime version of it sometime, but for now, I use it during the nighttime. It's super lightweight and gentle, so it's like perfect if you're sunburned, you just have really sensitive skin. I don't know if you wanna put it near your eyes, or if you got a wax and you need something really light and non-irritating, it's perfect. After moisturizing, I'm gonna go again with the Clindamycin Benzoyl Peroxide Gel, which is like, I use it as a spot treatment now, but originally I used to put it around my entire face, and now I don't really need it, so I just put it on my problem areas, which is usually like my T-zone. Also, you should remember to wash your fingers after you're done applying this Duac Gel because it will dry up your fingers and the skin will fall off because that's kind of like what it's doing to your pimples. And good night. For the next portion, I'm going to also talk about what are my favorite sunscreens and makeup removers because that's also really vital for keeping your skin healthy and just other tips and tricks on how I try to take care of my skin for the long haul and things that I am in control of, not my genes, to help my skin. Okay, so living here in Hawaii, there is a lot of um, sun exposure and yeah, it basically is always sunny and there's always the UV rays and I know you probably hear this a lot, but sunscreen is really important. Um, I personally don't always put on sunscreen because I'm just, I'm just not good like that, you know? But I'm thankful that my skin so far hasn't acted up too bad. But then again, I don't go out a lot. I'm usually an indoors type of gal. I'm not the super generic Hawaii beachy girl, but um, I do realize that sunscreen is so important to your skin because you don't want to get skin cancer because skin cancer is actually like really really common and most of the times they don't find out until you're like at your very end stages and they tell you you have two months to live so you don't want that to happen to you so you should wear sunscreen and I know it's a little bit hypocritical because I don't even wear sunscreen a lot but I definitely should and talking about this to you guys is a reminder to me that I need to start wearing sunscreen. Okay, apparently if you're indoors, you still get like sun exposure just like through the windows and stuff and like the UV rays. So even though it's not directly coming on you, it still counts. Like your skin still feels it. Okay, so I lied. I actually have six products. Um, I have this. This is called the Elta MD Skincare UV Clear Broad Spectrum SPF 46. It says calms and protects acne prone skin and it's like really good light little like sunscreen thing it has really high reviews so i decided to get it and a lot of people say that their dermatologist tells them to buy this one so yeah i just ordered it from amazon links to all the products by the way will be in the description box so you can get it if you want um this one does have like a little bit of a sunscreeny smell so it can be a little bit off-putting but i mean it will save you from getting skin cancer and the likes so yeah. Besides the smell, it's super light. It's super light and comfortable to wear. So yeah, I would recommend putting that like under your makeup if you wear like foundation and stuff. And it's like a really good everyday thing because it's a lotion and a cleanser sort of and SPF. So it's just, 
really good. Besides sun exposure, there's also some important stuff like getting enough sleep. I sleep pretty well. Like I get, okay, so I usually sleep at like 10 or 11 p.m. and I wake up at 6.30 for school. So that's like seven and a half to eight and a, eight and a half hours. So like around eight-ish hours if we're averaging it out. So I think eight hours is like really good. If you can try to get at least eight hours of sleep every night, that's like amazing. And honestly, you could, okay? If you're being real with yourself, you waste a lot of time going on your phone and chatting with your friends or whatever, or just scrolling through social media and playing games or whatever, and you waste a lot of your time. So don't lie to yourself and tell yourself that you're too busy and that's why you can't sleep and that's why you have to sleep late at night because no, you don't have to watch entire season tonight, okay? So you can sleep more, but you're just lying to yourself. And I hope you realize that because I do that to myself a lot too. So I'm not judging you, I'm just saying that you're lying to yourself and the sooner you can accept that and try to work on it, the better. Well, I'm gonna just continue my video. Um, say hi to Ethan. Okay, cool. So, yeah. Is that... I feel like you're kind of being distracting, but it's fine. Okay, so... I wrote down, like, all this stuff. Let's see. By the way, this is the afternoon now because... Why I'm, are you covering my butt? That's the nicest part of it. <laughs> okay, by the way, I went left the house because I had church, and then we went to lunch, and then I did homework and stuff, so now it's, like, six hours later. Diet used to, like, be a big problem for me. Like, eating, like, sugary and oily foods would make me break out so much, and during my period, I would break down... Blah, break not break down I, although I break down a lot but I would break out on my face because yeah I would just break out on my face because I guess everyone does right so okay but then I started using this thing right here it's called clindamycin benzoyl peroxide also known as Duac gel or something and I got prescribed this from my doctor because I told her that I was having acne and I didn't like it and so she gave me this and it's all better now like if I ever have any breakouts like okay so I started using this like last year in May exactly a year ago almost and that's when I like first started it because it was like AP exams and I was really stressed out and I really needed this and now I like I basically used it for maybe like one or two months and it cleared up my skin pretty much permanently like I don't get pimples anymore and stuff and I still have this around um, because occasionally I'll get like one maybe like once every two months I'll get a pimple or something so yeah it's really good I, uh, I highly recommend this thing just go to your doctor don't be lazy like Ethan is Ethan's really lazy I always tell him to just go get this and clear up his skin but then he never does because he wants to do it organically and I respect you if you want to do that but for me, I just got this because it's easy and yeah, and it kind of like takes everything away and it's like a permanent solution. So yeah, I like that because apparently it's like a antibiotic or something. So like your skin builds up resistance to the bacteria so that you don't grow acne anymore or like, I don't know, don't ask me. I don't really know how it works, but yeah, that's the probably the main reason why my skin looks like how it does now because I definitely struggled with period problems and just being stressed out and my diet like if I ate chips the next day I would be breaking out but this just saved my life so yeah I I owe everything basically to this thing the last thing I would say is just that you should remove your makeup when you get home and stuff I don't usually wear makeup like on my skin and stuff the only thing I have on right now is mascara which is the only stuff I wear so I think that might be part of why I don't really have like acne and stuff like that because there's nothing ever clogging it the only stuff I put on my skin is lotion so yeah you should consider just letting your skin breathe because honestly like no one really cares if you have pimples or acne and you know what it's just like a part of life and no one actually cares so just just have it and the difference between you having like acne skin and like clear skin is literally partially just your genetics and what products you use and if you just I don't know I just what feel like, cavemen use? I don't know maybe cavemen had bad skin or they had good skin because they had good genetics some people just have amazing genetics where they eat everything and they just don't break out at all and it's 
not fair but yeah but or you can just get this product and solve all your problems and eat whatever you want and not have problems still oh by the way this is not sponsored so this really good makeup cleanser that i have is called like pharmacy melting balm is like this really good makeup remover my friend introduced it to me and it basically melts off all your makeup it's like a it feels like coconut oil but like you get some on your finger and then you just apply it and then it melts becomes like a liquid so like more like an oil and it just comes off and it's very gentle and good okay i think that's it for this video i'm just gonna voice over the rest of my routine and stuff thank you guys so much for making it to the end of my video hope this was good um i don't know i'm bad at making like these type of videos but if there's anything that i didn't answer that you want to know more about like my history or whatever i don't really know just comment them down below and all my products will be linked in description box. I didn't even say to subscribe. Subscribe too. Yeah, if you want. But okay, goodbye now. I will see you in my next video.